What is up? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel today. I have a really cool premium desktop audio system, which is going to level up any game when it comes to home audio, computer audio, uh, desktop, laptop, whatever you need to upgrade your sound system. This is definitely going to do it and it's a, a value right now as well. So that's why I'm bringing it to you right here on DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. If you've never tuned into my channel, please lock into this channel because it has a lot of valued videos, a lot of tech, a lot of gaming items, uh, DJ items, anything I can get my hands on and afford. That's all I want to do is help out, do the research for you so you don't have to give it to you as easy as possible, give you positives and negatives on the items, and then leave some links in case you guys are interested. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks to all my subscribers. Let's continue to grow this channel. I just really want to continue to grow so I can continue making videos. So thank you so much. Let's get into this ProMedia 2.1 THX premium sound system from Clips. It's going to be a really cool unboxing and I'm also going to give you a full review and thoughts on this product. So, so let's jump in with the unboxing portion of this video. I just opened this, the just the top of the box. I haven't even unwrapped anything or anything. Just wanted to kind of speed up the process, but we're gonna go ahead and unbox you, show how everything looks, uh, show you the quality and, and see how everything looks and then show you kind of how to set it up as well. And then we're gonna get into what I think of this product so far. So we're gonna take this down here. Very, very nice box, of course, it comes in. Uh, Klipsch is known for uh, home audio and they're very, very expensive when it comes to that. And this item is uh, not too bad. It actually probably retailed at about $200 when it came out. It is currently $144 on Amazon, but you can find some warehouse deals right around $100, which I think is a tremendous deal for this two satellite speakers. They're three inch speakers. Uh, and then they also have a 6.5 inch subwoofer, which is definitely worth it. So. Uh, I did have some bookshelf speakers up here right now. If you notice, my setup has changed a little bit because I'm gonna add this into my system. I don't do a lot of uh, music production or anything like that, so I just need a really good sound system that sounds really good, has a little bit bass low, so I can kind of uh, master my mixes a little bit, but other than that, I don't need anything super crazy. I think this is definitely gonna love me up. So first thing, right on the top, I have managed to pull out the instruction booklet. And that's what it is. You get a nice little quick, it's definitely a quick setup. Um, it looks like uh, they're gonna show you how to hook it all up and we'll get into that just a little bit. And then you're gonna get another little uh, like warranty card, uh, all those types of things in the box. Came in a nice little plastic thing. And then we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty right away. Uh, this looks like the main speaker right here. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the plastic. You have a standard 20 gauge wire here, it looks like. And over here, a preamp input. And then this is definitely your 3.5 millimeter jack. So it'll definitely work through both. Uh, I'm definitely going to be using the 3.5 millimeter jack. The speaker itself looks really, really nice, in my opinion. has a nice little grill here which is removable and so here's our speakers right here it has a tweeter horn and a three inch full range speaker here and I'll go into the specs and give you exactly what they call them here really soon but it is pretty nice uh, it does look built uh, very very good here uh, it has uh, your little volume it looks like it has main volume and dedicated sub volume so that's cool so you can definitely uh, work in between your sub volume and your main volume uh, which is nice and like i said it has metal stands uh, they're not adjustable really so they're pretty much going to sit that's the way they're going to sit so just to let you know so i'm going to go ahead and set that aside i'm going to go ahead and open this other speaker real quick uh, oh there's some nice little just saw those nice little feet for the bottom of the metal uh, they do have 3M sticky tape, so that's pretty good tape. Uh, so you can stick them on the bottom of your uh, your stands here uh, in case you want. In case you have a surface, uh, like a nice desk or uh, wood surface that you don't want to scratch up because these are a little bit uh, metal on the bottom. So you could scrape them up a little bit. I'm not going to need that because I'm actually going to set them on some foam. Uh, but the other speaker, so you have one powered speaker. This is your powered speaker right here. And this is going to have uh, 200 watts of peak power. So I'm guessing it's going to be right around 100 watts. 
uh, RMS and maybe 100 watts RMS to the, sp to the subwoofer. And then, or probably maybe even less than that, sorry. So maybe, maybe 50 watts to the speaker and 100 watts to your subwoofer and then uh, peak power looking around 200. I can't confirm that for sure, but that's my thoughts usually when they split stuff like that. And then this is a passive speaker, so it does need to be hooked up to the other speaker to get power. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that. But it looks just as good as the first one. Uh, they look very, very nice. Nice tweeter horn and your uh, three-inch driver. But I do like how it has the little Clips logo right on the front there as well. It looks kind of cool. Go ahead and take a look at our sub, which is way at the bottom. So I want to go ahead and check that out. It is packed very much, a lot of foam, uh, a lot of styrofoam, some silicone, keep up the moisture. Uh, the subwoofer does have a cable connected to it, of course, <clears throat> which is a power cord. So the sub might actually be powered on its own. Oh, so the cord, the the AV cord is actually for the subwoofer. I get it now. Took me a minute, but I got it. Uh, all right, so we do have your, yes. So they have the preamp right here, which will go to your subwoofer, and then they have your speaker amp. So this is definitely gonna be your amp in here and power all the speakers actually and then you have your 3.5 that'll go from your speaker to your device uh, so uh, pretty pretty cool little setup this speaker and eh, not super heavy it is small um, it also you can you know put your little feet on it if you want on the corners if not uh, it's pretty like flat on the bottom so you can pretty much set it anywhere you wanted to actually here's the subwoofer on this side it's a 6.5 inch subwoofer a uh, nice big old port there uh, so it looks really nice uh, the cord looks about five feet long i'm kind of concerned though i want to see how much cord uh, if i'm going to be able to set it up in my particular uh, setup here i have an elevated desk so i can stand up and kind of work in my workspace here. So we're gonna see how this works and I'm gonna let you know here just in a little bit. All right, so, but the sub does look very, very nice. Very professional, like I said, a very flat bottom. So you can pretty much set it on anything. I could actually uh, set it up top there, but I'd have to set it on some foam so it doesn't vibrate. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it looks really, really nice. It's, I'm kind of interested how I'm gonna set this up. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, get this all together. Uh, I'll show you a little brief uh, introduction on how to get everything set up, and then we'll go from there to positives and negatives. All right, so really quick, just no matter how you set this up, I just want to kind of show you how to hook it up. Uh, it is pretty easy, so this will be really, really quick. So basically, you have your uh, power plug right here, so you're just going to make sure you plug this into an outlet. Uh, I would do that last, but uh, yes, you just plug this into your wall outlet or your uh, whatever you're using, a power strip or something like that. Um, so plug this in last, but that's what you're gonna have to do with this is just plug it in for some power. So like I said, I would hook everything up first and then go ahead and plug it in. But let's go ahead and see. So you have uh, both speakers. So these aren't marked like left or right or anything. So definitely you can set it up however you want, but just know that you have uh, speaker wire here and you can see that one is a complete blade black wire and one is a black and it has like maybe a uh, on this particular model it has a like a red stripe on it so you're gonna go ahead and how I would set it up as long as you hook it up the same way on both speakers you should be absolutely fine uh, but I always say that the black wire is your negative so you're gonna hook that into your negative terminal here for say your right speaker and then the one with the red stripe on it we're going to go ahead and hook that into the positive positive. and so you're going to do the same thing with the other speaker so your other speaker we're going to go ahead and take the wire tie off this 
they do give you plenty of wire here so you should have plenty of room to set it up I'm gonna go ahead and set mine up right after I do this but I just want to show you guys how to quickly hook this up you're gonna do the same thing make sure you separate these a little bit I got a stripe and a black wire so I'm gonna put the black in the black slot right here and it's just like a little toggle that you push down and then you just put the wire in and it's gonna pinch it and it's gonna be locked in there so it's pretty pretty easy Let me scoot you guys in here so like I said your black wire is going to go to the black and then your black wire with the red stripe is going to go into the red and just make sure those are in there and they're not coming out and boom you're in there now you're gonna take that one wire that I wasn't a hundred percent well sure what it was and that is gonna be your preamp input and that's gonna go right here it's gonna plug right in and then you might want to get a little mini screwdriver but you can use your fingers here but it's a little hard but you're just gonna go ahead and push that all the way in and then screw this down screw the little knobs down and that's where that's gonna head in and you're good to go here like I said then all you would need to do I don't want to set that on anything there so then you can put your sub wherever you want you can put your speakers on the left and right make sure that you're putting them in the right left or right and then um, you can uh, go ahead and plug this into your desktop or laptop uh, whatever device you're going to be inputting uh, your audio in into the device right here is 3.5 millimeter jack this is a stereo with the two prongs here and then you know laptop stereo tablet whatever you wanted to use you could plug this straight into there and you're good to go then all you'd have to do like I said is go ahead and plug this into an outlet and you're are ready then on your speaker depending on where you're at you're gonna go ahead and turn your main knob here and you should have volume so this system actually stays on all the time which I don't know if I like that but we're gonna get to that when we get there but that's how you hook it up it is always uh, not that bad to hook it up and like I said I'm gonna go ahead and set it up into my system and see how everything works and then we're gonna get right back to you let's jump into some of the specs on this uh, item really quick and then give you positive negatives and get you going with a quick sound test so first of all I just want to point out that the value on this is fantastic at $144 right now on Amazon $99 warehouse deals if you can find it actually found them in Walmart around $99 on clearance so you can find these out there around a hundred dollars and it's a great value this is a uh, just the values out there so they have 8,000 reviews on Amazon and they're all like four stars or better so uh, really really good reviews on Amazon and so far with my review <laughs> I'm really enjoying it I put it through all kinds of tests and things like that uh, which we'll talk about in positives and negatives but uh, let's get into the specs a little bit is a 2.1 system that means you have two speakers and one dedicated sub you're gonna have a three inch uh, mid-range driver so it is mid-range and then it does have a tweeter which is going to put out some of that high range and they call that high range a micro track tricks horn uh, whatever that means but it says that it really basically reproduces a uh, really good sound from the watts that you're given uh, through that horn so you're going to get really good uh, clarity out of this and I will agree with that you're going to get great clarity out of the system in general sounds very good it does have dedicated main uh, volume controls for your bass and for your uh, main volume so you can adjust both of them so that's pretty cool as well and you're gonna get 200 watts in this particular model they do have a Bluetooth model uh, which is newer which has around 260 but I'm pretty sure you're getting all those 200 watts because it sounds fantastic has a lot of decibel levels 110 that's pretty exceptional for a desktop system uh, I know PA speakers that do 126 uh, decimals and it's just one speaker so this system definitely puts out some decimal levels you're gonna get some uh, great volume levels out of it and then the subwoofer is a uh, subwoofer it's pretty small pretty light pretty easy to hook up all the system was pretty easy to install and it was a 6.5 inch woofer sounds so really really good so other than that you are gonna get the two speakers like I said you do get grills for it and you do get nine foot cables uh, so there was just plenty of room uh, for me to set it on the ground and get it to where I needed it to go uh, the power cord is a little bit short it's only five foot longs but it was just enough to get 
uh, around to where I needed it to because it, it does come from the subwoofer, which is the amp and everything, and you have to t hook everything up to that. Everything, the construction, build quality, everything looked really, really good. So those are pretty much the specs. It is great for a desktop setup, even a mini bedroom home theater setup. I think this thing would work fantastic. Uh, also, if you were a DJ and you're looking for kind of a backup uh, plan to not having some, if you can't afford like or some really, really good monitors, this is a great backup system. Um, I have monitors, I've had Yamahas, I've had Mackies, I've had some three inch Mackies that are about the same profile and size as this. And with that subwoofer, man, it really uh, puts those away. Uh, honestly, uh, the Mackies might have maybe a little bit more bass in the actual uh, speakers themselves, but with the subwoofer on this, it really just takes takes over and uh, it, it uh, you can't beat this system. So uh, having the 2.1, the two speakers and the subwoofer, man, it, it it's gonna beat any uh, three inch monitor systems in my opinion, because the subwoofer, it really, really helps. Let's get into positives and negatives and start right away with uh, the value again. Uh, great value, we already talked about it, $99 or 144 on Amazon retail, uh, but you're gonna get Amazon deals and stuff like that. Check out Walmart as well. They might have them in stock on the shelf or maybe online as well. So check those out, great, great value. Um, I think uh, definitely another positive is the 200 watts and the decimal levels. You're gonna get some crazy volume levels out of this uh, for the price of 100 bucks. And the clarity and sound from this is great. And I tested a 2.1 test for panning. I tested game testing for how it sounded like when you're kind of spinning around and how they, they pan and scan. And they sound really, really good left and right. Uh, home theater sounds good. Uh, gunfire sounded good. Explosions sound crazy. Uh, gaming sounded really, real good. So anything home theater, desktop, uh, watching videos, things like that, they're gonna sound phenomenal. Um, music wise, I would say uh, I would say home theater is great. Music wise is really really good. Uh, musically, they sound very good, but I think the bass actually is overpowering in the system. I barely I didn't even get the bass to halfway, and it's just too much in my opinion. Uh, some people might love it because it's so warm. Uh, the bass is fantastic. It shake your shake your room you're in, but. For me, it's just a little bit too much and it's a little bit overpowering. You kind of have to find a happy medium in there where you can get a good sound from the speakers that you're hearing, the clarity and mid-range and highs and everything, and get that bass in there as well. And you have to find that perfect match for me. And so uh, you might have to mess with it, but I still found it very satisfying to listen to uh, clarity-wise because it sounded really good once you find that uh, happy medium where everything is just kind of toned together and it sounds really good as a full system. So musically, it sounds really, really good. Home theater, uh, desktop type system, gaming, uh, fantastic. It's just a really, really good system. Cords were a pretty good length, uh, but that could be a negative in my opinion. I think they need a little bit more cords. You never know where you're gonna put these and if you wanted to do some kind of uh, mini bedroom home theater system, you might need a little bit more cords. Uh, another negative for me though was uh, there's no power button on this. Why is there no power button on it? I have no idea. Maybe that's why the system is uh, as inexpensive as it is, but I don't think it would have been too much more to put a power button on this somewhere, uh, especially maybe even on the sub system itself. But there's no power button. So you, uh, in my opinion, I would definitely plug this into some kind of power strip. That way you can just turn everything off at one time with the power strip. So that's what I have uh, going on. Maybe I'll leave some links for a good power strip as well. Uh, but yeah, I have it plugged into a power strip. That way I can turn it on and off and I just won't leave it on all the time. So I do have it on. You can see it's over here and you can see the white light is on. Uh, it's on, it's on all the time. And I have my other speaker over here. They do look small. They look really, really small, but you do get some great sm sound out of them. Um, I'm quite enjoying it. Uh, it's a really small system that you get really, really big sound out of. So it is very surprising. So it's definitely going to put a smile on your face and surprise you when you first hear, when you first hear it, in my opinion, because uh, it sounds really, really good and it surprises you. So other than that, I really don't have more negatives than that. Uh, so no power, uh, no on and off, no power switch. And then maybe the cords need to be a little bit longer. 
Uh, but everything else was pretty good. I was pretty happy with uh, construction, uh, how you know light and portable this is. It's really easy to set up as well. Uh, so everything I was pretty excited about. This is a great system, a great value, a great backup system. If you're a DJ and you can't afford really, really crazy monitors, you can definitely afford this. And it's definitely going to be a great backup, great starter type system for doing your mixes at your little uh, desk, uh, doing things like that. It's going to work really, really good. It's going to give you really good sound. And I think you're going to appreciate it very, very much. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick sound test of some music. Uh, it's not going to sound fantastic because I don't have the best recording equipment, but it'll just kind of give you an idea of the sound that you can get out of this, uh, which is really, really surprising. So I'm going to just turn around, uh, turn a quick sound out and uh, let you uh, check it out. So that's just kind of a quick intro to it. I didn't want to play too much, but it really does have really good sound. It really separates sounds. Uh, you can really get some good clarity out of it. Uh, but like I said, it has to be all kind of evened out so that way you get enough bass and you can still hear those monitors. They don't get clouded out by too much bass. So uh, definitely have to mess with it just a little bit to tune it in. But after that, man, it really sounds great. So. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's DJ Martini Midwest. This has been the Pro Media 2.1 THX premium desktop system from Clips. They do have a Bluetooth model as well, so check that out. I'll leave links for all these products in case you guys are interested. Thank you so much. More videos to come, and if you guys have any great comments or thoughts on this product as well, let me know. Thank you so much for tuning in. DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. Later.